I'm Dr. Slade Walker from the Old Mill Vet Equine Service. I'm a general practitioner horse vet and I have my memberships in equine dentistry. Commonly, my work day involves doing routine dental procedures on horses. And that's what I'm scheduled here this afternoon to do at this riding school. This is Mac, he's an 18 year old standard bred and he's due for his annual dental performance float and balance. Of course, as part of that examination, uh, we'll do a general health exam um, which involves measuring and monitoring uh, their weight, body condition, coat, feet. Of course, answer any questions that the owners might have or concerns. And of course, look for any early signs of disease. Now, once I've led them into the stocks, I will give a light to moderate sedation. And this is where I'll do the more detailed head exam before the dental procedure. Part of that examination involves look, uh, examining the muscles of mastication auscultating the sinuses, palpating for any bony lumps, bumps or swellings, feeling the temporomandibular joints, assessing your horizontal and vertical movements of the jaw. And of course, this is a perfect opportunity to assess the eye, which is important in any general health exam. Now Mac here, I can already see he's, he has a few battle scars uh, in the eye, but quite often as part of a general health exam, I'll notice a weepy eye. Um, and this could be due to nasolacrimal duct issues, or it could actually be an early indication of other ocular disease. And this is obviously very important to pick up with any examination. Uh, other things we'll be looking out for would be tumors, ulcers, infections, conjunctivitises, looking at scars, um, any conditions of the eye that would produce pressure problems uh, with the globe, uh, which would be uveitis, cataracts, even Cushing's horses will have uh, altered pressure of those eyes, uh, glaucoma. And it's for this reason uh, that I have instituted uh, using intraocular pressure testing in any health exam, and particularly before any, any dental as part of the health exam. The situation is made very easy because we've got a lightly to moderately sedated horse uh, with the Tono Vet Plus. Uh, it's a, uh, a quick and simple uh, procedure um, that can be done in um, um, a non-controlled environment. And normally, you would, uh, for a comprehensive eye exam, you'd probably need to do the nerve blocks to take the spasm out of those eyelids to stop them working against you. But to do a, a pressure reading, an intraocular pressure reading, I don't find that necessary. Now, it is important when doing the exam not to really pry those lids open because that will artificially affect the pressure reading on the eye. I do find a little tip you want to just sneak under those eyelashes. Probably not helping here that we've got Max staring into the sun. Now the green indicates we're good to go. Now the Tono Vet will average six readings. You can do those readings individually or if you've got a nice compliant patient Sneak under those eyelashes. You can hold that down and you can get six readings done automatically and averaged. Now, you would have noticed the red and green lights coming up. That obviously indicates when you're in the right position. You can turn these off. Now, I, I, I typically don't, because I find in a normally lit environment um, with all the sounds going on around, the horse isn't affected by the red or green lights, nor the sound, but you can turn those off. Because potentially in a dark, quiet environment, this might stimulate the horse. So you can turn those off if need be. Another option is you can use it in the horizontal plane. Sometimes that makes it a little bit easier to get under those eyelashes and do the reading that way.
Great. Now, of course, I would do readings in both eyes and I'd put that into their dental and general health chart or health record. And if nothing else, it forms a good record and log of what is normal uh, in this patient. Uh, it also is great for um, performing a, it's obviously dinner time. It's obviously uh, good as part of a comprehensive general health exam. And it also, it helps to practice the technique for when you are doing a more comprehensive eye exam in a sore eye. So this is a part of the procedure that I would get on to the dental. So thanks for listening. Stay safe. Have a nice day.